us to the series of episodes that are going to focus on the detailed revision of the August 2024 Mathematics Paper Team. So we've just finished looking at Paper 1. If you haven't seen Paper 1, please check out on our YouTube channel or in our companion app where we'll be able to find the videos that are arranged in a proper and easier way to follow. And you sh should also be able to find quizzes, past papers in the companion app. I urge you to download it, check it, try it, and see how beneficial it is for you to ace that exam of yours. So question one leads, a box contains six identical beads, two of which are red and the rest are green. Two beads are selected at random from the box, one after the other without replacement. Draw a tree diagram to illustrate this information. Calculate the probability that the beads selected are of different colors. So let us start with question M. So let me just create space. So for question M, we are required to draw the tree diagram. So because we are choosing two beads, so it's going to have two branches. So these are the two beads we are choosing. So we need to have two branches. So I'm going to do the first branch. So we have the option of choosing red, which I will use R, then green, which I'll use G. Then we have the second branch. Just use this one. And this will be green. Then this will be red. Then this will be red. Then this will be green. So this is how you look at it. So we have six identical beads. Then in that box, we have two of which are red. So two are red, then the rest are green. So meaning, out of six, we have two out of six chance of choosing the red. Then if there are six, and the remaining are green, it means the remaining are four out of six. So we have four out of six chance of choosing a green. That's the first. Now, we are choosing a random, but we are not replacing, so without replacement. So if in the first case, we chose a red, which is a top branch, meaning we, we are not replacing that red, meaning we remain with one. One out of how many? Five. Because we took out one. Then, because in the first case, which is the red branch, we picked red, meaning the green remains an each change. So meaning when we're picking the second one, we still have a four out of five because one is taken out. So they were initially six. If the first selection we picked a red, meaning the red have reduced by one, even the total is reduced by the one, but the green remained unchanged. So the time we are picking the second one, meaning we still have green bees that are unchanged. We still have four of them. So that's why we are saying four out of five. That's the probability and uh, so the same would apply when you are looking at in the other branch. So now if in the first place we picked the red one, meaning the chance of picking a red now is still two out of what? Two out of five now because the green we picked at the first one. So meaning this one will be two out of five. Then if in the first case we picked a green, the chance that we we'll pick a green on the second pick is now three out of five because we had picked a green in the first pick, meaning the green reduced by one. So the idea is at each branch when you sum them, they should give you a one. So if you notice this one plus this one is a one. Okay, that's the case. Then this one plus this one is a one. Then again, this one plus this one is a one. So that one should always be the case. If it's not the case, then you've made a mistake somewhere. So once you do this, you would have answered the first part of the question, which is a loma numero one. Then we go to B. Calculate the probability that the beads selected are of different colors. So of different colors. So if they are of different colors, it should be that we need to use these branches. The first one green, the second one red. Then or the first one red, the second one green. That's the only route that is going to give us that possibility. So we go to Loma numero two. So we're looking for probability. 
which I'll call x equals so is 2 over 6 multiplied by 4 over 5 4 over 5 which is in the top root then plus the bottom branch is 4 over 6 multiplied by then 2 over 5 which is in we are saying this root red green plus green red so it's this root that we're looking for then at this point you just finalize this one so it will be 2 times 4 is 8 8 over 6 times 5 which is 30 then plus 4 times 2 is 8 over 6 times 5 which it is 30 so we're going to have 16 over 13 8 over 15 we divide by 2 both sides 8 over 15 so 8 over 15 is the answer so if you can do this then you get the 5 marks so let us move to question B the Venn diagram shows the number of elements of sets P Q and D R find the value of X such that the number of element in P equals 18 Loma numero 2, the number of elements in R complement. Loma numero 3, the number of elements in R union Q. Loma numero 4, the number of elements in P intersection Q complement. So, this question is easier if you understand the symbols. So, it's just a matter of interpreting the symbols. If you can interpret the symbols properly, then this thing becomes easier. So, let me use this space so that I maximize on the space. So lemma numero 1. So it's a matter of adding x plus it, this one plus it, this one. Then we equate it to 18. Then you solve a simple equation. So we have x plus it, x plus 1. Then plus it, 2x plus it, 1 is equal to 18. Then we collect the like terms. So it will be x plus it, x plus 2x. It will be 4x. Then plus. 1 plus 1 is a 2, then this we equate it to 18. Then what this tells me is I have 4x is equal to 18 minus 2, which will give me 4x equals 16. Then so for x we divide by 4, then x is equal to 4. So once you get that, you know that then this thing becomes much easier. Here we can proceed to answer other questions. We need to find the number of elements that are found in R complement. So R complement is we take out what is inside R. So what is outside R? So this is Loma numero 2. So what is outside R is x plus 2, x plus 1, then plus 12. So let me go to a bigger space. So this is Loma numero 2. So like we said, we have x. So it will be x plus 2x. So it will be x plus 2x plus 1, then plus 12. But we know the value of x. The value of x is a 4. So it will be 4 plus 2 times 4 plus 1 plus 12. So we're going to have 4 plus 8 plus 1 plus 12. 8 plus 12 is 20, plus 1, 21, plus 4, 25. So 25 is the answer. So we are saying the number of element in R complement is equal to 25. So once you do this, you are good to go. Then you would have answered this question. Then we can look at Loma numero 3. The number of elements that are found in R union Q. R union Q. So you see this part, then X, then this one. So these are the ones that we are adding. Let me use a different color so that you are able to see. So it's R plus in Q. So it's 12 plus X plus in X plus 1. So that's what we are looking for. So that's Loma numero 3. So Loma numero 3, we are saying. 12 plus x then plus x plus 1 which is in x plus 1 so this is equal to 12 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 
which is equal to 21. So 21 is the answer from Loman numero 3. Then we can look at the last question, which is the number of elements that are found in P, P intersection Q complement. So you see outside. If you are to use the different colors, what we are looking for, we are looking for 12 plus this one plus it, that one. That's what we are looking for. So we just need to add those. So it will be 12 plus it, x plus 1 plus it, 2x plus it, 1. So this is the Loman numero 4. So it will be 12 plus x plus 1 plus it, 2x plus it, 1. But you know what the x is? So it's 12 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 times 4 plus 1, which is equal to 12 plus 4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 1. So 8 plus 12 is 20 plus 1 plus 1, which is 26. So 26 is the answer. So once you do this, you are good to go and you get all these marks. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question 